Question 3 says, a group of hikers hears an echo 2.1 seconds after shouting. How far away is the mountain that reflected that sound wave? Assume the speed of sound is 340.6 meters per second. So it gives us the velocity of sound as 340, 340.6 meters per second. So I guess they're saying that it's about 17 degrees Celsius outside. And so there's a group of hikers walking, and they, they shout at the mountain. So they're standing here, they shout at the mountain. The mountain reflects it back, and they want to know what the, how far the mountain is. So if you take velocity as equal to distance over time, and you want to, you want to find what the time is, you, multi, you want to find what the distance is, you multiply by the time. So velocity times time equals distance. And so we had a velocity of 340.6, and, and we, we had a, that's meters per second, and we had a time of 2.10 seconds. And so that gave us a distance. Now, the distance, the total round trip was 715.26 uh, meters. And so that's round trip. That's from here to here and then back. And so we want to divide that by 2 to get the distance one way. And so the distance to the mountain is 357.63 meters. Question number four says the range of human hearing extends from approximately 20, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Find the wavelength of these extremes at a temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. So the method I chose to use for this was to, to solve for the velocity and then use the velocity to find what the, the uh, well, to use the velocity and the frequency to find what the, the wavelength should be. So it tells us that the temperature is 11 degrees, so that's equal to um, 284.15 Kelvin. And so we can plug that into the equation that the velocity is equal to 331 times the square root of, the, of t over 273. So t is 284.15 and uh, divide that by 273.15. So the velocity is equal to 337.6 meters per second. Now keep that number in mind. We're going to come back to it. Whenever you're dealing with waves, you're, you get this, this, uh, um, this graph here. So the wavelength is from here to here. So it's a distance. So wavelength, lambda, is a, is a distance. And what we call the period we, is t is the the time that it takes this wavelength to travel this far. So, so if velocity uh, if velocity equals distance over time, then we can solve for time by time equals distance over velocity. And so we can we can take this uh, velo the distance, which is lambda. So lambda over velocity is equal to the time of one period. Now the thing that you have to remember is that frequency is equal to 1 over t. So if we take, if we take uh, t is equal to lambda over the wavelength over the velocity, then 1 over that is, is basically flipping it over. So, so v over, over wavelength, velocity over wavelength. So the frequency is equal to the velocity over the wavelength, and therefore we can find the the wavelength by by solving this equation algebraically so wavelength is equal to velocity divided by frequency and so this is the equation we're going to use because that's what we're, we're trying to solve for the wavelength so wavelength equals velocity divided by frequency and then we we had the velocity we said that the velocity so the wavelength is equal to the, the velocity we said was 337.6 meters per second and the frequency, um, well, we, we have two different frequencies we want to do to test. The, so 20 hertz, and, and then we have another frequency that we want to check at 20,000 hertz. And so finding, finding each one of these is going to tell us the wavelength at that frequency. And so at, at the frequency of 20 hertz, the, the wavelength is equal to... Um, 16.87995 uh, meters, and at 20,000 hertz, 
the wavelength is equal to 0 0.01688 meters.